2019 as well. How much do earnings have to re-rate? What's the biggest risk? We're simply in a global environment that's a little less friendly for risk assets right now. So just taking, taking one step back, U.S. growth leadership has been the dominant economic narrative globally this year. Uh, and that's a risk in an environment where the U.S. is poised to decelerate uh, going into 2019. And there's no obvious candidate to, to help pick up the slacks. So the global growth environment is a little less friendly. What you'd want to see is the U.S. pushing forward at elevated levels unlikely given that fiscal policy is, uh, you know, is peaking and monetary policy is tightening. And then you look elsewhere in the world and you don't see, you know, you look at Europe, you look at China, you look at EMX China, you don't see a lot of acceleration uh, that gives you confidence that there would be a bounce. Uh, so for, from the perspective of an investor, you have to look a little bit more in terms of relative value and a little bit less at the top line. So we look at things like the U.S. consumer as being relatively well supported as, as an aspect of the U.S. economy. Uh, income has been growing uh, vigorously. Part of that is the labor market. Part of that is wages uh, grow, uh, growing and accelerating. Uh, so when we look at that part of the market uh, and, and companies geared towards the U.S. consumer, I think we see a little bit more opportunity there. Uh, if anything, as we move our way through late cycle, that's something which should create a, a bit of a rotation from income at firms to households. Uh, does the drawdown of savings, personal savings, give you pause for concern? So he doesn't mention cryptocurrencies at all, but I really do believe it's an asset class you should be following. And this one year chart has, is a great uh, testament if you want to go through the history of crypto is there's going to be flat line periods like this. And it could be flat for another year or two, but I do see that it's going to rebound. And uh, I, I do believe that if the stock market and the real estate market do start to collapse, uh, the price of crypto assets will go up. So uh, it's not mentioned in the mainstream media, which is kind of a good thing because obviously once it starts moving and it does come into the uh, mainstream media, I, I can see a lot of growth. Um, but I still feel like crypto assets are a great asset class to pay attention to and a great hedge against this real estate and stock market uh, bubble from quantitative easing and the Fed just basically printing free money. But let me know what you guys think about this and I will talk to you soon.